Dropbox and Google Drive are pretty much file sharing applications, so you can send people photos, text documents, slideshows, anything like that quickly and easily over the internet. It's also great for multimedia if you're doing video work or photo work. So for Google Drive, you get the first 15 gigs for free. After that, you have to pay into it to get more storage. For Dropbox, you get the two gigabytes for free. And if you need to up that to a terabyte, you're gonna pay either $10 a month or $100 for the year. So the next app is called EasyBib and it's a bibliography generator. You simply enter a book or a publication title and it'll give you the information you need to list it as a site for your paper. A great feature that this app has is if you just scan the barcode on your book, it'll enter the bibliography into the app so you can use it instantly. A good thing about it is there's so many different styles of citing that you can get in this app, literally hundreds. So if there's a very specific style that your professor wants these sites to be in, this app will give them to you. So the next app is called Notability and it's note taking on steroids. So you can do anything from typing, to writing, to highlighting, to enlarging, to taking photos, to recording audio in this app. It is the most expensive app in our group at $7.99 and it's only available on Apple products. The next app is called Quizlet and it's something that's gonna make your brain sharper before a test. The gist of this app is that you can create or download quizzes that will help you learn about a certain subject. You can either download pre-made ones from other users, or you can make your own and upload it for other people to use. So our last app is called Forest, and it's an adorable little way of keeping you on task. Basically, you open the app and you set a timer for how long you wanna stay concentrated on your studies. And as that timer ticks, you have a tree that's growing from a seed to a full grown tree. So the more you use the app, you get this currency that you can actually spend to place real trees. The app is partnered with Treats for the Future, and every 2,500 of the currency that you spend, they actually plant a real tree. So the more you use this app to study, you're actually improving the environment. 